my gems it is red day here in the color chronicles series so put together a couple of different looks for you in like everyday red which is kind of what i'm starting out with here and then we're going to kind of move through some everyday a little fancier and then kind of do some more glam red looks which is really more um when you think like holiday red i feel like that's when um you bring out maybe more of that glam red look like that new year's eve christmas eve type of look so let me know when you're on tell me if you are one of our many uh red fans and we are going to put together some red looks okay so oh thank you hey elizabeth um okay so starting out with this red sweater it is that like touch 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 of pink to it so it's like a pinky red and um i actually just got this recently it's very soft and just kind of a standard crew neck sweater i don't even normally wear these types of sweaters that often but this one looks so comfortable that i grabbed it and i'm glad i did so this is definitely a comfortable enough to wear in the house like if you're still working from home if you're still doing zooms and you kind of know that you shouldn't be coming on that in a sweatshirt but that's what you feel like wearing these and a pair of black yoga pants and you are ready to go for your work day. So this is the sweater that I went with and just kind of went with what I kind of feel like is also everyday jewelry. So started out with just the Carrington earrings because when in doubt you grab hoops, right? And the Carrington earrings have been really popular for a long time. They're that you know, a little bigger than your average small hoop, but you have this bonus of the crystal bead on here. And of course, you also have the option of removing the bead once the earring back is off and wearing the plain hoops. I don't see any reason to do that. Why would we want to get away, remove that little bit of bling when we know that crystal next to our face makes us look well rested. So I'm going to leave that there and decided to just go with a sturdy, casual necklace and that's the yellowstone now the yellowstone necklace is actually genuine marble italian marble so this necklace does have a little bit of weight to it but definitely nothing that makes me feel like i'm gonna fall over or anything and you have the awesome pendant at the bottom so you have your beautiful print on the front and if you prefer you can face it the opposite way and show just that hammered look on the opposite side you can also remove this fully so that if you wanted to wear just the beaded area, the beaded part, you can. And if you wanted to put this on a totally different necklace, you can. You can move it onto a short necklace and have a really cool um, large pendant up top, which would give it a statement necklace look. You can use this as your layering piece right around your everyday necklace up top. Just a really fabulous necklace that blends so well with so many other things. Now, when it comes to the bracelets, there are there is a Yellowstone bracelet. And I want to show you the power of this bracelet because when I set up bracelets, as I know many of you do, we always, of course, are going for textures, right? So I started out with the marinas. I picked out three of those. And then, of course, you want kind of that anchoring bangle. So we went with the jewel bracelet. Of course, that's the one with that designer-inspired look. You have the stations of crystals all the way around. And it opens and closes on a hinge. And then we want that bling factor, right? So I did the impression bracelet in the clear set in gold. Now, that is definitely leaning towards, you know, the glam side of bracelets of your arm party. But I just wanted to show you what this $30 Yellowstone bracelet does for this very fancy arm party. If all I do is put that in the center of all of these, do you believe what that does? It suddenly turns it into what I always call boho glam, where you have um, definitely that casual element to it, but we're not sacrificing our crystal and our and our sparkle and all of that that's in there with it. So I feel like a lot of you do not have a Yellowstone bracelet and it is a fantastic low price piece. It's also a great one to have multiples of because um, we could have definitely put one of these on either side of the impression bracelet and given it 
um, another element to that as well. So that's our glam and casual arm party. So when you're doing um, kind of your everyday look like this, there are so many different elements that you could incorporate. So let's not forget that we still have the amazing special of the autumn bracelets. Now with that, we have a whole bunch of different colors, right? So we get our pink, our reddish, our yellow, our blue. So I could definitely either grab the two reddish ones and incorporate that into the brace, into the look that we have here, which how amazing is that? Actually loving that. When you just kind of stick a couple of little color in here, now, isn't that such a different arm party than it was when it was strictly the gold, the pearls, and the crystals? Totally different look to it. Now, Christine um, had mentioned, and I mentioned this yesterday, but she does it with red too, where she puts on her Azul necklace, which is blue, with her, um, she has an orange sweater and she has a red sweater that she does it with. So I wanted to show you the Azul necklace, because I haven't brought this one out in a while. When you bring out, again, that complete opposite color across the color wheel with the top that you have on or with whatever that you're wearing, it really gives it that interesting pop. So the Azul bracelet, uh, necklace, it does give you that turquoise, but it's, see how it's set in the burnished gold? That really gives it a casual element and certainly a um, boho type feel. And then of course you have your whimsical B at the bottom and this does come apart so you can wear this um, just the top, just the bottom or either one. Now again, if you are working from home and certainly you can, you can always wear it out of the home. I'm just <laughs> pointing out that when you wanna be comfortable at home and still look cute or maybe you're even you know, running to the grocery store and things like that, to just have this pop of color People are going to be complimenting you on this all day long. Now that also means we could have pulled a couple of more, we could have worn all of these of course, but even if I just wanted to, I could have done all of these on this arm, or in addition to incorporating a couple of the red ones, we could toss in a couple of these blue ones, and again, create an entirely different arm party that is getting more casual by the minute, even though I'm adding more bracelets, right? And there are the autumn earrings as well. So if instead of the gold hoops, we wanted to bring in a couple of different colors, these earrings, the autumn earrings and the autumn bracelet would have been something we could have incorporated every single day this week as we went over all of these different colors. And they certainly look great with the Azul necklace. So the um, autumn earrings are still available and they are only $15 with a $40 purchase and the bracelets are only 25. So they are a great deal. So if there's other pieces that you're seeing over the course of this week or the course of today that you wanna get, grab this, if you don't have a Yellowstone bracelet, things like that, let's take care of that so that you can grab these um, autumn earrings and or autumn bracelets before they sell out. So, okay, so that is definitely some of our, you know, way to dress up that casual, soft crew neck sweater. Now, another great look to do with red, I think, is animal print. So I definitely showed you, what did I show you? Did I show you animal print with yellow on an earlier one? I can't recall. Um, or did I, no, I showed you a pattern with yellow, um, but, to do a bright color like red or even yellow or or um, hot pink, I love, with some animal print definitely gives it a completely different look. So I am gonna pull out the sassy necklace because if you're gonna get some, if you're gonna add animal print to your jewelry, I think it's great to have something that doesn't have to be animal print all the time. So you can just switch this one around and then you have the days that you want your animal print and the days that you want your brushed gold. So I of course want that. So we can start with your sassy necklace 
and then we can frame it all kinds of different ways. You know that I'm a fan of kind of doing animal prints and pearl, animal prints and some chain. So we could do a frame of this just with some pearls and do our heiress necklace. $30, amazing deal, and always cute with a little everyday sweater. And we could really kind of sandwich that animal print by doing the Brindley necklace above it. So the Brindley necklace, this is another one of our hidden gems. This is freshwater pearls on a gold tone chain, and it is only a $30 piece. You can wear this all by itself as a cute little t-shirt necklace. You could wear this with other things. But I love to sandwich the sassy necklace with pearls. I love to sandwich it with um, even just like the chain from the Carrington necklace is another good one. And then, of course, we can make fun decisions on earrings. So we can decide we're going to go earrings animal print and do the espresso earrings. And just like the... Um, necklace the sassy necklace is a little furry so are the espresso earrings so again we're kind of returning back to that hoop look that we started with and we're definitely building a fun chic um, street sweet look here because we're doing our sweet pearls with our street fun animal print now when you take out a red sweater to start your day do you necessarily think pearl and animal prints probably not initially but how fun of a look is this to put together? We could even from here have done, instead of the animal print, we, uh, instead of the espresso hoops, we could have taken it the direction of the pearl and done the island earrings. So it's just a matter of, you know, which way do you want to go with it? And then, of course, we can finish that off with our set of the safari bracelets and pop in the center the fun Hudson bracelet where you have the um, you know the high shine gold we could even add a couple of marina bracelets to that if we wanted but absolutely a fantastic finisher personally I would wear my cheetah flats with this or my cheetah booties depending on where I was going and off we go which may actually be what I wear we're going out to dinner after this so I think I may actually do that um, okay so you can certainly also with red do some fun silver i'm going to show you that though i think as we move into some more of the glam looks i'm going to keep this on and let's take a look at another red type of outfit so this is just one of those velour sleeveless mock turtlenecks i happen to love these for holiday parties especially because it's cold in the winter, but then you go to a party and it's hot inside. So, or even if you're having just a couple of people at your home and you're going to have your um, fireplace going and stuff, you think it's chilly and suddenly you're actually sweating. So I do kind of like to do the, the sleeveless mock turtleneck. I know that's very Rachel and Friends uh, look as well. But one of my favorite things to do with these is actually to start with, I, I often don't even do a necklace. I try to just go with high drama earrings. So we started Gemma out with this look with simply the Dolce earrings. Now this once again gives us those fun angular look, tons of crystal next to the face, and just a really great look as you are putting together some glam red for the holidays. Now, if you do feel like, no, I, I do really like to have a necklace, <laughs> then I highly recommend the Logan. So the Logan, you have the beautiful open chain, and then you have the beautiful crystals, you have the toggle, and all of this is so easy to put on. You just layer that in the front, and then you have all of the matching crystal and gold, and is really a super fun look. So you can do that with um, a longer necklace like the Logan, but you can also do this and really get great mileage out of your drama necklace. So your drama necklace, I don't even have all the layers on here right now. I kept the top 
everything but the bottom two. So we can still be adding two entire layers to this drama necklace if we wanted to. But when you're doing this mock turtleneck look, you definitely want something that's going to lay nice and flat right on top of it. So the drama necklace gives you that liquid shine type of look. And as I was saying, you know, this layer, this necklace does completely come apart. So you could wear just these topmost layers, or we could still be adding two more layers. And we can again do some high drama earrings. We could do something like the Monroe earrings. Where did I put Monroe? The Monroe earrings are definitely a must for the holidays. You will wear this with your black plungy tops, your jumpsuits, a black dress. Um, I wear them with animal print sometimes, but certainly a fun look that you could put together for especially a holiday type look. And of course, we could go with a complete statement necklace. I do like a statement necklace with mock turtles also, regular turtlenecks as well, but the, the um, riches necklace is fun for this. See how you have all the gold coins, you have your mother of pearl, and this also lays beautifully over a regular turtleneck, over a mock turtleneck, and you're getting nice high drama here. So with a necklace like this, I often would recommend a plainer pair of earrings. So you could really just do a pair of studs like the Chico earrings, which of course are just the high polish gold balls. They're only $26. Um, or you could do a plainer pearl earring. These are mother of pearls all over the necklace. So definitely fun. And as you're doing, you're more like, glam gold, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of a bracelet that is coming soon. This bracelet is called Foxy. Look at the sparkle on this gorgeous bracelet. Oh my goodness. I am counting the minutes until, look at this. I still have the tag on it because it didn't even come out yet. But this bracelet is coming soon and it is stretchy. So when you want that comfortable cuff, you're gonna slide this on and you're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful look, whether you wanna just have a fun, shiny day or whether you wanna wear this to a holiday party. So I am looking forward to that baby coming out. And of course, as soon as it does, you'll be the first to know. Now, of course, you can do red with silver, absolutely. You can do red with hematite, absolutely. So let's do a little of both. Um, you can do a more casual silver look by doing something like the Alexa necklace, or we can go straight for the fun and the crystal with the red velvet and do the love struck necklace. This is another one that is fantastic on top of your red crushed velvet here. And then it's just a matter of what size earrings do you want to go with? Do you want to go with larger crystal earrings like the Palm Beach? And these crystals, of course, are very similar to the ones in the heart. So you would have the, the larger earring look. Or you could go with something smaller like the highlight earrings. Where'd my highlight earrings go? Oh, here they are. The highlights in silver are absolutely perfect with the love lock necklace, uh, the love struck necklace as well. And then of course we go ahead and do a beautiful silver arm party. We have our Chandler bling with our Denali's. Remember, I've been wearing the Denali's almost this whole time in the gold and silver, but they also come in silver and black. You have your Chandler bling, your Mars, your Rika, and definitely a great finishing look for your silver look with your red. So as we've been doing all this time, let me know what was your favorite piece that you saw today during red. Red is of course our sexy, fun, outgoing, energetic color. <laughs> um, some of you said you like red, but don't feel that that describes you. Um, 
Sometimes people would describe you differently than you would describe yourself, but let me know what in what were your favorite pieces from this live. Put them in the comments. And when we finish the Color Chronicles after tomorrow, I'm gonna to be picking one winner from each live to win a piece of jewelry um, that coordinates with the color of the day. So have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow with our final color in the Color Chronicles. Have a great day. Bye-bye.